Hello everybody and welcome back to Evil Ted Live here on twitch.tv slash Evil Ted Smith. In today's episode, a while back, I worked with uh, the very talented Frank Ippolito. He brought me on. We worked on a video game called For Honor. And in the game, there was uh, a knight, a viking, and of course, a samurai. Uh, and I made the samurai helmet. It was, a, it was a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be, but I had fun making it. So... I got the patterns, cleaned them all up, and I put them in my store. So if you guys would like to build a helmet with me, you can go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, download the pattern, and we can build it together. So if you guys are ready, let's build that samurai helmet together. All right, guys, when you get your patterns, you have your rings. This is number one, number two, and number three. And you're going to have to trace these out. Now, these are uh, registration marks. You just want to trace these as well. So... This is the uh, right side, so be able to trace them. You'll notice it'll be labeled inside and outside. The outside face is outward, of course, inside and inside. And when you trace these, be sure to flip them to do rights and lefts. So this guy's gonna do next. Moving on, top of the helmet. And we're gonna need eight of these. And again, we're gonna be tracing these onto four millimeter foam. That's the foam of choice. There's the samurai bill, which is the kind of the brim of the hat. And you're gonna need one of these. Again, it's gonna be out of four millimeter foam. Trace that. Uh, these are gonna be the outside fins of the helmet. Uh, again, it's gonna be four millimeter foam. We're gonna cut out two of these. Now we're gonna be moving on to two millimeter foam detail. This is gonna be the uh, side helm de detail on the helmet. You're gonna need seven of these. And this is gonna be on the top. For the front bell, you're gonna need one of those. And a little detail piece, this is gonna to go to the right, and you're gonna go flip it and cut to the left, you're gonna need two of those, a right and a left of these, out of two millimeter foam. The little crest, little half circle, those actually go on the side of the uh, helmet detail right here, and you're gonna need 14 of those. And of course, the triangle is for the spike on the top of the helmet, and we're gonna, stack up and cut that out of foam as well. So go ahead and cut that out. All right, for the helmet, the rings, we have number one. This is the right and the left. And the inside, you notice they're labeled inside, outside. The reason being, because that is the outside, we're gonna definitely eventually glue these two together to make a full ring. So that's number one, we got cut out. We have number two, same thing. Line them up on the inside, got that. And number three. So what I like to do is heat curl these first. While I was heating the foam, I just realized on the number one ring, you have to cut on the top half, you need to cut a bevel out. And so when I realized when I was cutting this, I forgot to do that on this piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Dremel and cut and bevel it back. All right, I got my board, I got my heat gun. So what I like to do is heat up both sides. Come pulling like this. And it. The one thing about foam when you heat it, it cools quickly. So you might find yourself doing sections at a time. Okay, we have all the rings that have been heat curled. We're gonna move on to this is the top of the helmet. I'm gonna go do the same thing. I'm going to heat form them. I have a little bit of my evil Ted foam anvil. I'm just gonna heat up and curl them slightly on the top. If you don't have one of these, they're super simple to make. It's just a wood base, a one inch dowel rod, and an acrylic dome glue on the top. But if you don't have, you can definitely just use a, a ball or something round, like a toy ball, and a, a roll of tape set on there, heat up, and just you just need something slightly curved to push the foam onto. It just needs a slight curl at the base, just a little bit of a slight curl. There you go. See? Great. All we have to do is do this eight more times. Now, next we're going to heat curl these. These are, going to go, these are actually the fins on the side of the helmet. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're just going to put a little bit of a curl on them. Is that perfect? All right, now that these have been heat curled, one more thing we're going to do is take this is the brim of the hat. And what I like to do is while it's still flat, I'm gonna take a Dremel and I'm just going to Dremel the edge down. We'll just soften the edge. I just realized these uh, the bent pieces, I wanted to take the Dremel and to kind of soften these edges. Uh, 
And again, this is the side that's going to glue into the helmet, so I'm going to keep one side uh, nice and flat. I'm just going to slightly uh, bevel the edges, just around the edges a little bit. Uh, I usually have a sanding drum on this, but I'm going to go ahead and swap it out for the uh, stone bit because it'll remove it, but also it'll do it cleanly. So I'm going to leave some little groove marks on it. And I forgot the circle too on the top of the helmet <laughs> right here. That is also to be cut out of a uh, four millimeter foam. And since I have it right now, I'm going to go ahead and just soften these edges just a little bit. So again, I like things I like to do before assembly. And also that goes on the top of the helmet is a spike, which seems a little bit big <laughs> now that I made it. Uh, again, if you want to know about this spike and uh, how I went about making it, I have a video on this on how to make foam spikes. So definitely check that out. By placing this, I realize it's a little on the big side, so I'm going to take this and make this a little smaller. Uh, I'm just going to take the side, right? And I should sharpen it up first before I do that. Real quickly. There you go. There, and now that I did, oh, there went that tip. So now I'm to bring that tip back. I'm going to come back over here, like this. Now, ta-da, <laughs> the spike is now on the top of the helmet. Now that it's been uh, cut out, heat formed and shaped and ready to go, our next step is gluing. So we're gonna start with the top of the helmet first. All right, when gluing these two together, make sure you always start with the tip. Line them up and use your finger as a barometer and make sure when you're lining them up, you're touching the top edge first. I always find that's the best way to keep the uh, the foam nice and flush and hide your seam so to keep them flush as possible. Like that, touching those two together. Nice and square. All right. We now get the helmet, uh, the top of the helmet all stuck together. So I'm going to put the circle on the top of the helmet. Line the forehead, dead centered. Just like that. All right, great. Now that we have this stuck together, let's go ahead and move on to the rings. Let's take the right side and the bevel I have here at the top, I'm gonna to apply glue. That's gonna be our contact point. Let's apply glue to the number one ring on the top edge, and that's the edge where we put the bevel in. Glue to the bottom edge of the helmet. What I like to do, this helmet's all glued together, and you can see why heat formed it. It's kind of like, it's a little uneven, a little bumpy. So I found if you reheat it while it's all together, it'll soften up and go back to its natural shape. Now, all right, now we have our first part, number one, starting with this edge right here. Flush, touching, and proceed to wrap right on the edge. Because it's it's the that you're going for is going to end right here on the seam. So I keep it in place here, touching the edges just on the bevel part. Success. All right. We do the same thing. We're going to apply glue, and we're going to stick this on the back half and work our way out on the other side. Now, second half, we're going to do the same thing. We'll line them up. There we go. All right, got it. See, already by putting that on there, it's structurally sound. This is getting, a, I can see it's starting to get a little unworthy. So before I glue these uh, on, I'm going to take a little, take a heat gun to it, just kind of reheat some things to it, soften it up, and pull it back in shape. Much cleaner. All right, now. All right, again, everybody, real quickly, I just realized something. When I was making the prototype, I had softer foam and I was able to do it at 90, uh, on the top edges to have 90, cut 90. But now I'm realizing that uh, you should do a beveled end cut on the rings two. On the top one, you bevel, you, know, you bevel out, you bevel on the top edge. But these guys from number two all the way down to number three on the top edge, that's gonna need to be beveled in. The reason beveled in is so it overlaps. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take number two, top edges, I'm going to take a sanding drum 
and basically just bevel this inside edge on the top. So, well, now that I went ahead and fixed this by putting a bevel on the inside of this so it's beveled in, I'm going to proceed to put glue on number two. We're going to do on this bottom edge, we're going to put the glue on the outside edge. We're going to just attach it to the bottom edge of number one. Same thing, I'm going to start with number two right on the edge. It's going to be the front. And again, I'm just going to make sure I just do the lip on the bottom. And to make sure what I've done, I find that when you line up the front, you work upside down. And what that does, it allows you to keep track of when you're lining up. There you go. Got it. Again, now you can see this. See how wanky this looks? <laughs> that edge this is going to happen so once you do a part let's take the heat gun let's go and just heat this back up it's gonna help you shape things back up there yeah looking good okay All right, we just did the bottom of number two again. So you can see I went back and had to go back and do a little more heat shaping on it. Okay, now we're gonna move on to on number three, same drill. We're gonna put glue on the inside edge and glue on the bottom edge. See, everything's kind of coming together, it's shaping up nicely. Got the front, this looks great. So what we're going to move on to this and our uh, helmet brow piece, our cover. We're going to take some black spline. Don't worry, I'll have links for this below the video where to get this. I'm going to use it to trim the uh, little brim on the hat and I'm also going to trim it on these uh, fins. And when I mean tape, I'm talking about coming in at an angle with a sharp exacto blade. Just cut it at a hard angle, just like that. And that allows me to glue it, and it kind of just has a nice fade to it. There you go, you guys can see that. Cut it like that at a hard angle. Do a little super glue. And then dab just on this part right here. Right on the curved part here. Just like that. Place. Kind of curl it. Perfect. And now, you can see that's my starting edge right there. on the outside edge. Where it's going to end, I take my X-Acto knife, because I know where it's going to fall this time. I cut a hard, just like that, perfect. And there it is, perfect. So the piping, uh, this is the, got it all done. Now I'm going to move on to these side pieces, which you can see I went ahead and did the same technique. I cut, tapered it, and glue the, uh, the black spline on the edge. A little decorative, that's awesome. Got these done. Now we're gonna move into the detail, the, uh, the two millimeter parts, all the finite detail. What I like to do, I take a stone wheel and just round off the edges very slightly. What we're gonna move on to now is the spike. This sits on the top of the helmet, and again, I have a really great little video on how to make uh, foam spikes. I went ahead and took a piece of brass and cut a little round plug to glue the spike onto it. I thought it'd be nice to have the, a little bit of a lift on the spike. Hmm, you know what's funny? Now I'm looking at this, it's pretty wide. Let me recut this into a thinner piece. I think it would look cooler if this was just a little bit smaller. There we go. And of course, I like to use my Zappa Gap right here. Drop that smack dab center. Get that little bit of a lip on the spike. All right, now the next step is what we're going to do is we're going to add our detail pieces. This is the, uh, the strips we have. And the cool thing about these guys, now is they, they add detail, they hide our seams. We're going to put these right on the, uh, the seam line. And uh, we're going to uh, start from the top where the ring is, and we're going to work all the way down to the edge. And before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and brush contact adhesive on the back sides of these, the sides where I'd not dremel them, do the back sides, and brush a really thin layer of contact adhesive. Now, I could super glue these, but 
I've always found with super gluing, when you go to heat seal things, if it's not all the way down, it'll start to curl up on edges where the glue missed. So to get a really good guaranteed contact, I'm gonna use contact cement. I'm just gonna do every seam and just brush on. Wait, you guys wanna see a magic trick? Watch this. Ta-da! All right, now, get that. So they start off the side like that. Keep an eye on when you're lining everything up. Like I said, if it feels like you're gonna fall a little short, you can just get a little bit of a pull because the two millimeter will stretch for you. There. All right, these are the small detail pieces. They're gonna go on this side of the, uh, the helmet. I have 14 of these and they all need to be beveled edged. These detail pieces go right on the side, if you guys can see right here. And normally I would just stick them with kind of adhesive, but you know, I'm thinking about this. And do some super glue on this action. Close that the gap. Line it up. Done. Love it. We went ahead and got the side. Uh, <clears throat> got the detail with, I don't know, what do you, what do you call these? Additional detail is done. Now we're gonna go ahead and this is the front and this is the center one, so it goes right down the middle, like this. And we'll contact adhesive on my strip. Take some scrap foam and line this up dead center like that. Line up dead center, perfect. All right, wonderful. Now. Nice. What we're going to move on to next is we're going to attach these kind of like the little face shields on the side. I'm going to attach these. <clears throat> I'm realizing something. Uh, when I made this originally out of foam, the gray foam, the cheaper foam, it was a little bit softer and thicker and it was bigger, so the spacing was different on this. Because I'm telling you right now by looking at this, I was originally going to ta attach the uh, side pieces with them hanging out like this, but the distance. I want to go to the two rings only, not the third ring. So I want to just have it inside the two rings. And I realized using thinner foam, using four millimeter foam, and the build, it made it just a little bit, a little bit too long. I want to cut just a little bit off. Since we're going to alter these guys, I want to make sure it's nice and symmetrical. I got a piece of tape here. About right there. That looks good. Got it. That looks good. Follow the line. Beep. Got it. All right. Make full contact here at the top. Make contact in the middle here and the bottom. It's all right. Let's put a curl because originally in the design it has to have a curl to it. So let's curl it, and it might make a world of difference of how it's going to fit. So let's curl this now. Trusty heat gun. But yeah, that's what I needed. Just a little bit of a curl. Let me just heat these guys up and bring them out just a little bit more. So we're gonna do the same thing. I'm going to use um, on this. I'm gonna use kind of adhesive. But before I put glue on this, let's line this up right here. So I know that's gonna fall centered. So let's make sure. Um, I wanna just give a little bit of a bevel edge so the actual um, bill can grab onto that. Light it up. Got it. All right, the bill is on. Now for the moment of truth, the spike that goes on top of the helmet. A little super glue. Watch this. Here we go. Dead center. The back are all these marks. Now, originally, when I made these, I made these slots so you could go in with a wood burner and X-Acto blade and you would burn these little holes out. On my prototype, you guys can see, I went ahead and did that. I went in with a uh, wood burner and burned these out. So it was my prototype. So you do that, and the purpose is you just take some lacing 
What I would do if you're doing a uh, samurai helmet, what color you end up doing is you take some red lacing, like sh red shoelaces, and just do a little crisscross on each one. It gives that a, gives the effect that like the helmet has been laced together. It's a super cool effect. But unfortunately, just for stream time, wasn't able to do that. But you guys can do that at home. Well, there it is, everybody, the Samurai Helmet. Um, this was an absolute blast to make. Again, if you guys are wondering where to get this, you can go to my website, eviltedsmith.com, and get this helmet pattern and make it with me. Uh, this was designed and built for the game uh, for honor, and I made a knight and a Viking helmet. As a matter of fact, I have both those in my shop as well. If you guys like this video, it's your first time watching me, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, and this video you're watching right now, I do from my live streams on Twitch, Dot TV slash Evil Ted Smith every Mondays and Tuesdays, 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Come, hang out, ask questions, it's a lot of fun. And don't forget, go to my website, EvilTedSmith.com, and get on my mailing list. Find out where I'm going to be next and shop through my Amazon links. Always helps get a little kickback on that as well. Buy patterns, tell your friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you back next time right here on Evil Ted Live.